What's your name, madam? What's your name? Any... It's not the telly. I can, I can see you. <laughs> what, what's your name? Camilla. Camilla. And what do you do, Camilla? I suppose it depends on the guy. <laughs> I'm only messing about. Just you look all dressed up for this sort of show, this kind of filth. Maybe he told you, well, we're going to go and see a theatre show in the West End of London. You went, fucking brilliant. <laughs> you probably didn't even say fucking. You probably went, marvellous. <laughs> Mar oh, the West End of London, a theatre show. This will be, oh, a bit of class. And he's finally, and then you, this, and you're going, <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> you bought the ticket. Now, how do you two know each other? That's your mum. Well, you, 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 don't, you, you don't even look like... You look as if you could be sisters. <laughs> you don't look young. She looks fucking old. <laughs> I can't help myself. It's some sort of trap. I love the fact you've just turned around and go, does she? <laughs> what have you done to yourself there? You've got a little thing on your... Uh, yeah, 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 I told you. What did you do? You've got... He's got a little bandage on his face yeah. there. What, what have you done? I had a growth cut there. You had a growth cut <laughs> off your face? <laughs> oh, sexy. <laughs> wow. It'll look better after. No, I, I like the little thing. It's very, very macho. You could make up a better story than that, I feel. <laughs> There's got to be a better story than I had a growth. <laughs> Are you all right in the back? <laughs> Excellent. It's not, nice to hear that, because often when I go to comedy shows, and I go to them all the time, I love coming out to see live comedy, the thing is, though, if I'm sat right at the back, I'm a little bit disappointed. I always get my ticket and go, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm fucking miles away. <laughs> But there are, of course, advantages to being right at the back. You get more of a sense of theatre, of people coming together and sharing a sense of humour. What a wonderful thing that is, the great British musical spirit. And also, if you're right at the back, this sort of thing won't happen. I fucked your mum. <laughs> That's not going to happen to any of you. I've got nothing but respect for your mums. They're hard-working, decent women. Your mum still owes me a tenner. I'm joking. I owe her a tenner. <laughs> Bluff. I'm your real dad. <laughs> Kidding, no one knows who your real dad is. <laughs> that isn't your mum there, is it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is a bit awkward. Uh, <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> She's brilliant in bed, isn't she? <laughs> uh, what, what, sorry? I don't remember her. What, that's the thing that annoys you? <laughs> Not the fact that I fucked your mum, the fact... <laughs> you don't even remember fucking my mum. <laughs> what happened? Do you get a phone call? There's a Scottish lady getting a phone call. I imagine the drugs are arriving any moment. <laughs> Right. You switched it off and it rang anyway. <laughs> well, I'm not buying that fucking story. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay, it's only a phone, don't feel bad. It's a what, sorry? It's a late alarm to come and see me. Or well, come and see me an hour fucking late. <laughs> You're not the one I booked for the interval, are you? <laughs> Come on in, sit down. What's your name, madam? Alexa. Alexa. And what, what is it, some sort of cystitis? What's the matter? <laughs> what do you do for a living, Alexa? Um, lots of things. You do lots of things? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I think I've seen a card advertising your services. <laughs> Are you new in town? Go on, sir. Um, Don't let me guess. You're an aspiring presenter. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I'll say to you what I say to all aspiring presenters that I meet. I'll have an Americano, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love my job. Um, sorry, I've just, noticed some I've just noticed some people wearing masks of my face. <laughs> in what could only be described as a fucking freaky incident. <laughs> Why have you got... You've got a mask of my... Could you just hold it up so... 
Could you turn that round just so other people can see how fucking freaky that is? <laughs> you know what the odd thing about that is? I was looking at you for a second. I was going, that looks familiar. <laughs> That's something about, hang on, I'm usually shaving when this happens. <laughs> well, thanks for fucking freaking me out on the DVD record. I really fucking appreciate it. <laughs> You're crazy, Ben. What, what's your name, madam? Claire. And what, what do you do, Claire? Esther. Depends on the guy, probably. <laughs> If it's a one-night stand, you really let your hair down. Cool. What do you do for a living, Claire? A student. You're a student? Ah, thus the free time... <laughs> ..to be making masks of comedians' faces. <laughs> <laughs> and who are you here with? Who's, who's your friend? I'm is, she, is she your special friend? <laughs> <laughs> your special friends. Do you sometimes use the mask and use a strap-on and pretend...? <laughs> Yeah. Who's come the furthest? Has anyone come from, like, a long way away, overseas? Canvey or... Island. Canvey Island? <laughs> right, now, I know Canvey Island, so I happen to know that you've not come a long way from your home. You've just brought it with you. <laughs> Did you come with him? <laughs> no, good. Canvey Island's the furthest anyone came. Well, fuck you. <laughs> you were all in the area anyway, were you? What's that? <laughs> Was that Dover? But well, you were castrated before you got a chance to... <laughs> right. <laughs> were you worried about sounding silly, so you thought, well, I'll put on a ludicrous high-pitched voice? <laughs> that should sort things out, shouldn't it? So you're a sailor, are you? Imagine my surprise at your high-pitched voice. Has, has anyone been involved in that kind of caper? Has anyone had the two guys, one girl threesome? <laughs> no. Have you been involved in that kind of caper, sir? No. You're not willing to say. What was it? Three fellas, was it? <laughs> <laughs> your, your brother has. <laughs> what, go on, what happened, sir? Go on, tell us. You started drinking and it just happened. Yeah. Oh, happened. You got hammered, yeah. did you? What, the guy missed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you, sir, <laughs> and I'm guessing you've never been with a woman but you've made up a story. <laughs> Before I do, can I just ask, are you two there? You look quite young. How old are you? 18. You're 18? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Really? Yep. Are you adding six years to your age? <laughs> because you think I might be a fucking idiot? <laughs> You're 18. Yeah. But you've got a growth hormone... <laughs> ..problem, some description. <laughs> Not even. You're genuinely 18? Yeah. God, I've forgotten how young an 18-year-old boy looks like. <laughs> <laughs> is that a bad thing to say? It's quite bad, isn't it? <laughs> And your boyfriend? How old is he? <laughs> what? It's my brother. It's your brother? Yeah. Well, don't shag him then. <laughs> I noticed that your, your shirt, is that a fashion thing? It looks like it's covered in spunk. <laughs> she, she's going for a wee. Is it a wee or a poo? Should we time her? <laughs> Seems a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Is she... Do you think she got... bladder problems? Maybe some sort of yeast infection, I'm not... <laughs> we'll ask her when she comes back. <laughs> I just hope she hasn't got any vaginal difficulties. <laughs> it's a lovely word, though, isn't it, vaginal? <laughs> oh, clearly not. <laughs> Let's have a round of applause for the ladies. Let's have a round of, yeah, let's have a round of applause for the Yeah, yeah, quite right, yeah. That's, actually, that's, that's probably enough. Looking around, some of them have made no effort. <laughs> There's an incredible amount of pressure on women these days to be beautiful and thin, and all I can say is, we've got some very brave girls in here this evening, really. not <laughs> Terrific stuff. 
So there are some stunning looking women in here this evening and some right dogs. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> I'm joking. No one in here is stunning. <laughs> Has anyone had uh, a vajazzle? She had. And what did you, what did you, what motif did you go for, madam? You, you had a heart yeah. because you were embarrassed to ask for... Like something spectacular. You were embarrassed to ask for something spectacular. <laughs> so you were fine with someone putting glitter on your fanny, but you went, I don't want to ask for anything embarrassing. <laughs> How adorable. And was it for a special occasion or was it just... No, I just thought, why not? You thought, why not? <laughs> well, plenty of fucking reasons. Basic hygiene. <laughs> your boyfriend could chip a tooth. <laughs> and it was definitely a proper vajazzle, not a Liverpool vajazzle, which is just a euphemism for herpes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? I didn't ask. What do you do? Uh, I have a diving school in Indonesia. You have a diving school in Indonesia? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, I've heard some tall stories that paedophiles tell. <laughs> You're a sexual tourist. You disgust me. <laughs> What kind of diving? <laughs> that sounds fucking great. Cool. Well done, you. I was going to go diving in Indonesia last year, but I, uh, I read this thing online that said you can, you can get a thing where... Uh, <laughs> a fucking growth on your face. <laughs> Is anyone married in? Who's married? Yeah? yeah. yeah? yeah. And what's the longest someone's been married? Two days? <laughs> Who's been married for two days? You got married on... Friday. On Friday? Well, congratulations. Well done, you. <laughs> and can I ask, is she pregnant or is this a proper one? <laughs> Sorry? You've done that You already have a child and now you got married? Yeah. Get out. <laughs> Get out of my house! <laughs> well, that's a lovely thing. Oh, well, congratulations. Thanks for coming. Wow! You know, you've married that guy. He looks like a great guy. looks amazing. And clearly, he set the bar pretty low early on. <laughs> Where are we going on our honeymoon? We're going to see Jimmy Carr live. <laughs> Size isn't important. It's what you do with it. Would you agree with that, ladies? No! no. <laughs> There's a lady over there that likes a big cock, and she doesn't care who knows it. Sorry, it's quite possible you just whispered that and it picked up an echo. <laughs> I've, just, I've just always thought that's such a retarded expression. Size is important, it's what you do with it. Well, I was planning to pop it in your mouth and your vagina. How's that? <laughs> is that going to be a total waste of time? Are you two a couple? Do you mind me asking how on earth that happened? <laughs> what, was you, what, what were you thinking? You don't know. You do a lot better than that. You're punching way above your weight. Not just a little bit, it's a different league. Well done. Is that money or personality or low self-esteem on her part? <laughs> Lovely little mix of all three. Is anyone in from around the country? You're from London, where are you from? <laughs> where, where are you from, sir? Doncaster. You're from Doncaster, and you're down here just for the lights. <laughs> You'll be back and telling people, oh, I was inside. It was like a cave, <laughs> but it was like daytime at night. <laughs> Couldn't make a head and a tail. <laughs> candles. <laughs> candles? Yes, they're like candles. <laughs> Well done, you. It's lovely to have you. Now, mark off back. New Zealand. New Zealand? How's it going over there? Is it all right? Yeah, it's not bad. You still having that problem with Saruman and his orc army? <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, did you just go, hello, at the end? Where are you from, madam? Dartford. Dartford? 
You sound like a man. <laughs> Where are you from, madam? Dartford. <laughs> Hello. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's like a horrible racist joke from the 70s. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello to you. What, sorry? I'm from Seven You're from Seven Oaks, but you said hello. <laughs> that wasn't me. That wasn't you. Why are you talking then? <laughs> I don't understand. Who said that? Not me. I'm from Seven Oaks. <laughs> what do you do, madam? I'm a student. You're a student, and what are you studying? Drama. Drama? <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know what it's like after 43 years. I think that's an extraordinary commitment, especially in this day and age. That is quite something. But I don't know if it's the same for you, because I've only been together with my girl for 10 years, but things have got quite predictable in the bedroom. <laughs> now, when I lower my entire ball bag into her mouth, <laughs> she is pretty much guaranteed to wake up. <laughs> same? <laughs> Oh, you couldn't see that, he just went, yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> you look worried on their behalf. They've been married 43 years, don't panic. They've tried everything. <laughs> Dude, what's your relationship with them? What, how do you know them? That's your mum and dad. <laughs> oh. That's nice. <laughs> well, I hope the image of your dad teabagging your mum hasn't... <laughs> I hope. I, for one... <laughs> I don't know about looking your parents in the eyes again. I don't think you'll be able to drink tea. <laughs> in show business, they say never work with children or animals, and nowhere is that truer than porno. <laughs> no one likes looking at sick and degrading pornography. More than me. <laughs> and, and one friend I have who has a diving school. What's your name, blonde lady? Who... <laughs> Move along. <laughs> Move along? <laughs> what are you saying, Vicky? Dance for me, monkey boy. <laughs> Is he your fella? <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? He's either your fellow or he isn't. Is he, is he your fellow? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, she's saying yes, <laughs> and you're saying no, and kind of, you're just look, you've gone really red and you look really embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> They're fuck buddies. <laughs> I see what, how very modern. <laughs> how very 2005. So you're not going out with each other, but you are fuck buddies. <laughs> that is fantastic. Can we just all take a moment to, you know, congratulate that man there? <laughs> He's, a lot of work has gone into that. A lot of work has gone into that. He's had to buy a Cosmopolitan for a couple of years. <laughs> Sorry? And they'll know that you're a dirty little hussy. <laughs> the great thing about that is that he's convinced you that, yeah, we don't need a relationship. It's so... <laughs> it's so old-fashioned. I should be able to sleep with whoever I want to sleep with. And so should you, as long as it's just me. <laughs> when I say... <laughs> Yeah, there'll be a lot of jokes. <laughs> it's not every day I get to talk to a slag. Come on. <laughs> now... I don't know where the mark is until I overstep it. That's my... <laughs> you just did. <laughs> that is juvenile. That... Sorry, for those of you that didn't see that, it'll be on the DVD. <laughs> Available at all good car boots. <laughs> Vicky's response to that? Yeah, she's been called a slag at a show. 
that's not good in anyone's book, and I apologise for that unreservedly. But did you really need to do that? <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Hello, thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. Uh, keep watching for some jokes uh, and, and moments from over the years. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, otherwise, I, uh, I don't get paid as much by, uh, by the good people at YouTube.